Hi, my name's Dr. Ganesh Taylor, and I work at the Francis Crick Institute. At the Francis Crick Institute, I am a research scientist. If I was to summarize my research in one sentence, I would say I study the differences between male reproductive systems and female reproductive systems. So my research is about learning how ovaries within the female reproductive system specifically develop, how they're built and how they function. A typical day in the lab, for me at least, probably looks really chaotic from the outside. I'm usually running around doing two or three different experiments in parallel, a bit like juggling, writing lots of different notes to myself so I don't forget which step I'm at, and then running from one machine to my bench or to another machine in a different part of the building. Um, usually by the end of the day, I have to sit down and write everything down that I did in full sentences rather than the, the sort of post-it notes and code written notes that I write for myself. One of the most unexpected and exciting moments in a scientist's life is that really magical moment when you have had a question, you've planned an experiment to address your question, you've spent weeks or months, possibly even years, trying to find an answer, and then suddenly you find yourself in a dark room just fin doing the final step of your experiment, and you find that that answer that you've been looking for, you know, in a glow-in-the-dark fluorescent moment under a microscope and nothing really can describe the excitement of those moments to anyone else I think. So my career path into becoming a research scientist was pretty standard. Um, I did regular GCSEs including sciences, I did my A-levels, importantly I did um, uh, all three sciences and maths at my A-levels. Um, and that is what allowed me to do a human genetics degree for my undergraduate. Um, and actually, I did um, an MSci degree, which is like an integrated master's undergraduate. So it was four years, three years regular, and then one year um, with a bit more research, essentially. And then the year after I finished my degree, I did another year of working in a research lab to get a bit more research experience, um, and then applied for a PhD. Um, and that's basically what you need. So the qualifications you absolutely need for being a research scientist uh, is basically a, a PhD. Um, so, so long as you have a PhD, you can do the job and obviously then you need the other qualifications to get um, into a PhD program to get the PhD. So you need A-levels and you need a degree and then you need a PhD. If I could go back in time and give myself some advice, I would say work harder, please, <laughs> um, and learn the details. But if I could go back and also reassure myself, I would say something along the lines of, you know, try not to worry too much. There is no right answer to a career path. Um, what really helps is being able to have a goal and, and to have the drive of like curiosity and interest and excitement. So basically just try and figure out what it is that you like and find interesting and are good at. And then if you follow those things through, it will be fine.